The other day I was at a certain department store which is taking over the world and I won't name. Uh, and I was with some friends and I was at the self-checkout. You know, where you, you check out yourself, you scan your items yourself. And so I scanned the first item, bleep, and I put it in the bagging area. And the computer tells me, please remove item from bagging area. And then the machine shuts down. And of course, the workers are busy doing stuff. And what I did is I instinctively started complaining, you know, grumbling and all that type of thing in a humorous way, of course. Uh, but later I was telling my friends, I was apologizing to them. I was saying, listen, I'm the guy who's telling people to rejoice always, that we're never supposed to complain. Uh, and here I am grumbling about stuff. And I was tell telling them, I'm going to make a new effort to stop complaining and grumbling. And the scripture for this, see, this is, I, you know, this might sound kind of silly or, or, or um, you know, funny, but the scripture for this is very, very important. And it's Numbers chapter 14, verse 26 and 27. And the Lord said to Moses and to Aaron, how long shall this wicked congregation murmur against me? I have heard the murmurings of the people of Israel, which they murmur against me. You see, the people of Israel, they were uh, journeying through the promised land or through, through the desert towards the promised land. And they were complaining. They were complaining about all kinds of stuff. And yeah, things weren't perfect. They were in a desert. All they had to eat was manna. There wasn't a lot of water. But they complained a lot, even though God was working miracles and set them free from Egypt. And again, the, the principle is the Lord saying, hey, they're not murmuring or grumbling against you, Moses. They're murmuring and grumbling against me. And it's a teaching for us that when we complain about our circumstances in life, our, our little inconveniences and things like that, we are complaining to the Lord. We're grumbling to the Lord. We're murmuring against the Lord. And the Lord is the God who blesses us, who's good, who works miracles in our life. But yes, he, he tests us. He stretches us. He gives us challenges. And there's blessings even through these challenges. So we must not murmur and grumble about things. Now, obviously, there's times in life where you have to say something. You can't be, you know, a Pollyanna all the time. Although Paul, the Pollyanna story is one of my favorite stories. Um, but again, be very, very careful before you start grumbling and murmuring. And don't do that around other people because you're setting a bad example. Scripture calls us to rejoice. Scripture calls us to walk by faith, to believe that God is working all things for good for those who love him.